ago, I was thinking about the Constitution for various reasons. It feels pretty surreal for it to be coming out right now, I have to say. I opened the play at New York Theatre Workshop during the Kavanaugh hearings, and so now to have it coming out on film during these hearings, uh, it's honestly, it's a little, it's a little depressing. <laughs> Amendment 9 says, the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. The fact that Justice Ginsburg came to the show was the most thrilling thing that happened. And that, you know, look, she's a very gracious person. So I don't know if she loved everything about the show, but she was very supportive of the show and what I was attempting. It means just because a certain right is not listed in the Constitution, it doesn't mean you don't have that right. I didn't expect it to have such a large audience. You know, I, I worked in downtown theater for many years, like experimental downtown theater. And I, I approached it and envisioned it as a kind of small experimental play that would probably have a, an audience of, of downtown theater goers um, who, who likely would, you know, have a similar view of the Constitution that I did. Because the truth is, nobody understands the Ninth Amendment. Nobody, except me at 15. <laughs> Justice Scalia said he didn't even remember studying it in law school. Scalia said he couldn't tell you what the Ninth Amendment meant if his life depended on it. <laughs> Which I guess his didn't. 